Hey guys, what's up? My name is Isaac and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a question that I actually received um, via Instagram and I cut it down for you guys a little bit because it's a longer question, but I think it's helpful for us to talk about um, this question on it because I think maybe some of us might be feeling the same thing. So let me read it and then we'll get into it. So the question goes like this. Why does God feel so far away? I've tried to read my Bible and pray, but I'm getting tired of the feeling like no one's listening. I know it's not about the feeling, but I guess I wonder why God wouldn't just give me the feeling all the time to confirm that he's with us. He is all powerful. He can do what he wants, can't he? I'm just tired of feeling like God is a million miles away. Now, this isn't the first time I've received um, a question with this kind of same sentiment. This idea that, hey, why does God feel far away? Like, I, I read my Bible, I pray, I feel like, uh, well, I am, and like, I know I'm a Christian, or I'm pretty sure, you know, and, but yet God feels far away. Why is this? Why isn't this feeling like of closeness with God? Why don't we have that all the time? So if you've been living the Christian life for any amount of time, you realize that that feeling of closeness, intimacy, relationship, the feeling of that with God, it doesn't always stay as powerful as we may like it. And that's the problem, is that we, we desire that we would like to feel close to God all the time. We would like to feel His presence with us. We'd like to feel that connect, connection and intimacy with Him all the time. But the problem is we don't. We love this kind of spiritual high that we get. Some people go to conferences to get it. Some people, it's a Sunday morning worship does it for them. But midweek, it's a challenge to feel like God is present with us. We try to read our Bibles and pray more in hopes that reading and praying will give us a taste of the transcendent God, but it ends up feeling more like homework we want to feel, again, we want to feel that connection, that closeness, that excitement. But often it's taken away and we don't experience it all the time. But the problem is, is that we're, when we're in this space, oftentimes we desire the feeling more than we actually desire God. We desire the feelings associated with a close relationship with God, that feeling of acceptance, that feeling of love, that feeling of mercy, of connection, of relationship, of intimacy with God. We like that feeling, but oftentimes we forget about God. Yes, the feelings are great, but we oftentimes are seeking the feeling more than we're actually seeking God in relationship with him. You know, when we dig deep into our uh, those desires that we have, our desire isn't actually for God, it's for us. We desire that we want to feel better. We want to feel good. But you know what? That's not what we should be searching and seeking for. You know what? What actually God desires for us is that we would pursue him despite how we feel. Not searching after a feeling to make ourselves feel good, but to further pursue Him out of a love and trust in Him. Because you know what? That's the foundation of our faith that's God. It's not our feelings. Because you know, you're going to experience, and if you've, if you've been a Christian for any length of time, you've probably experienced excitement and joy and peace and that closeness and connection and relationship with God. And that's a wonderful gift that God gives us. But you know what? You're going to experience that that's not always there. You're going to feel a little bit far away from God. But what you need to have trust and faith in is that if you are continuing to pursue God, regardless of how you feel, you are in that relationship with God and God will never leave you nor forsake you. You know, if God feels far away from you right now, if you feel like he's not there, he's not present with you, number one, repent. Repentance. Say, God, hey, I know I've made mistakes in my life. I know I've sinned against you, a good and holy God. Please Bring me in right relationship with you because our sin separates us from God. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. Know that once you put your trust in him and you begin to follow him, he will never leave you nor forsake you. He will not leave you behind. He will not, even though he f may feel far away at times, he is not distant. He is present with you. Now, my encouragement to you this week is this. 
When feelings are there, praise him and rejoice. But when feelings fade, trust in him because he will never leave you nor forsake you. Now, don't take my word, in, word for it. Trust him. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video or found um, some insight from it, please give the video a like and subscribe to this channel if you're looking for more um, videos that are centered around becoming disciples of Christ and following him as disciples um, daily. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and check out dailydisciple.ca for new articles and videos every week. Um, yeah, guys, I look forward to another video with you, but I um, wish you the best as you go along this week. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.